How worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and honor. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is being offered for your intentions, for the souls in purgatory, and for the men and women in our military and our first responders. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on Lord earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things. In your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, the one like a Son of Man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His, king, uh, his kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. In, spl in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girded about with strength. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. A reading from the book of Revelations. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of kings of the earth. <clears throat> To him who loves us and has frees, freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and every eye will see him, and even those who pierced him. All the people of the earth will lament him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king. Jesus answered, You say I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth, that everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Good day, everyone. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. And I have to say, I have to start off by apologizing. I didn't realize until I was sitting there and sister was doing the readings. I'm wearing the wrong liturgical color. I got the green on when I should have white. I apologize for that because we're celebrate, celebrating today beautiful solemnity. It's a solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. And it's, it sounds like an ancient um, solemnity in the church, but it, it is very recent. In fact, I think this year or next year, it's, it's 100 years old. And that's it. You know, it's not, not a, a holy day that was celebrated in like the 300s or anything like that. It's a, it's a relatively new solemnity that we are celebrating. But I love the way and where it's placed. And everything about it is a reorientation, trying to get us to remember that Christ is the king. Christ is our king. No matter what happens in our lives, what happens in our world, any kind of chaos, Christ is the king. And we put, her, put our trust in him. And this is the perfect solemnity to bring us into next week, which will be beginning the Advent season, the new liturgical year and i promise i'll be wearing purple so you don't have to worry about that i'll be wearing purple and yes just to say i am going to continue with the masses uh mainly if i can just say it real quick because um having some trouble live streaming the masses sometimes they work sometimes they don't so i like having the option where i can tell my parishioners it's on youtube if you need to to watch it at home you know, so I am going to continue. I know I said I was going to stop, but I was hoping to have, honestly, a couple things up and running. And one of them was more consistent live streaming, but it's just the way it's happening. It's We're working on getting better internet connection in the church and everything. So sometimes it fails. Sometimes it's on. Sometimes I can't use my phone and I have to use uh, my DRE's phone to lie. It's, it's, I hate technology. I'm sorry. I hate technology. Uh, but that's it. But again, let me get back to the, the day we celebrate this week is the feast, the solemnity of Christ the King. And as I said, it's, it's relatively new. What happened was um, in 1921, I believe, in 1922, when this, when this actually came part of the calendar. But you're talking about a time where you have a world that's torn apart by war. The First World War, you know, for all intents and purposes, really just ended. You know, it was only finished like a year or two previously. 1919 uh, was when the, the, the treaty was signed in the spring. Uh, you had the, the Spanish flu go through and really do a lot of damage to the population, killing many people, killing many soldiers who survived, you know, all the bloodshed of the war only to die. And also what would happen is as they were going back to their own countries, they were bringing 
the flu into the countries and you had, you know, nurses, you had so many people uh, dying from the Spanish flu. So the impact that that had, you know, and, and I, I must say, if I can, I apologize, and it's tad political here. I heard a statistic recently where somebody kind of said, oh, well, more more people now died of COVID than the Spanish flu. Okay, but the reality is the population at that time was two-thirds less than what the world population is now. So if you look at it population-wise, the Spanish flu was truly devastating in Europe, in the United States, and the amount of people that were, you know, victims of it. But again, you had all of that happening. You had all this chaos. You had people who were living in rubble in Europe after the war. They, you had a people who never, they no longer trusted their politicians. They no longer, you know, it's funny to say this now, but we're living in the aftermath of that. That's when it all started. You know, they trusted their politicians, they trusted their spiritual leaders back then. And when all that happened with World War I, it really just caused this absolute devastation in the way people viewed themselves, viewed their, their governments, viewed, you know, and it changed a lot. Uh, Russia, which was the heartland of orthodoxy, became an atheist country because of communism. You had all this chaos happening and the people were looking around wondering, you know, Where's God in all this? God has left us. God has abandoned us. You know, the architecture is gone. The, you know, the art has changed. Literature changed. Paintings changed. Everything was changing. And, and in the 20s, to just give a quick lesson, you knew, you know, about the roaring 20s. And so you had this culture of youth. That's when it started. You know, the youth were living for the day and no longer looking ahead at the future or anything because they came through a world war. And they, they, the way they looked at it is, why, why not enjoy ourselves now? Because, you know, who knows if you're gonna be around later, you know? So that's when that culture of youth came up and all its hedonism and everything that happens with that. So there was just like a, a complete upending of society and the holy father at the time who realized all that what he did was this was his response to it by starting and, and offering the solemnity of christ the king of the universe kind of to reorient and get the people again to focus that christ is our king with all the craziness in the world the world constantly changes the world flips on its head so many times. The world is, you know, knocked down, built up, knocked down, built up every time. But the constant in our lives are Christ and the focus on that. And that is the, the, the powerful lesson of this day. And it's a powerful lesson we still need in our times as well. Yes, we have it, maybe not as bad as it was then, but we have a world in chaos and craziness and everything. But this is again to reorient ourselves and remind ourselves that doesn't matter that is passing that will pass the night passes the day comes we will come out of it but the constant to help us see us through all that is christ our king he is our king he is our constant he is our rock doesn't matter with all the rest we'll come out of it we come out of it before, we'll come out of it again. But Christ is our constant. Let us keep our focus on him. God bless you. Please stand for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became him. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord is King. Coming before the throne of heaven, we voice our petitions to our merciful Father. That the church will always be a place of mercy freely given, where everyone is encouraged to live the good life of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they will see the, their power as a sharing in the authority of God and reflected in the way they govern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the culture of life proclaimed by Christ the King will reign in every human heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from slavery to sin, that Christ the King will liberate them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of tyranny, persecution, oppression, or racism, that the justice of Christ the King will rid the world of every trace of hatred. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to surrender ourselves in obedience to the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our men and women in our military and, and first responders that they may come home safely and soon. And may those who see war and violence be protected we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we pray for the souls in purgatory and for the souls of our loved ones that they enjoy the that they come to enjoy the bliss of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, Christ the King has made us into a kingdom. Renew our obedience and faithfulness and be pleased with the prayers we offer. We ask this as we ask all things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed to be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, 
he might accomplish the mysteries of human, human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and peace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Just spirit. Pray. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, Christ. Christ. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, Lord, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And have a blessed and wonderful week. And I forgot I messed up again. I forgot to do the prayer of spiritual communion, which is staring at me right in the face at the altar. I apologize. Have a wonderful week. And always remember the powerful message of this week. This weekend's Mass is Christ is our constant. Fear not. Let the chaos go. Christ is the constant to bring us through it. He's, he's our rock. God bless you all.